trade strategy. I always said this. Pete Delisandro, from a local media point of view, is the greatest GM we've ever had. It's not. Vlade would be second, which, by the way, arguably are, I would say, two of the three worst GMs we've ever had. People old school will remember Joe, Joe Axelson. But hmm. the the best that if we say, if we're ready to say, which it's not like a long list here. Am I wrong if I say that as of right now, if you did an all-time Sacramento Kings general manager ranking, that Monty McNair would be number two? Because who am I forgetting? Joe Axelson. Was there someone between Axelson and Petrie? Russell. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Okay, well. Jerry. Then Petrie. Can we take Jerry out? Jerry's top three. Can we take Jerry? No, I mean, honest to God, Jerry's top three. Okay. Because if you go Axelson. Because I'm incredibly biased. Jerry better than Axelson. Yeah, hundred percent. Jerry better than Russell. Trillion percent. No Jerry disrespect. better than D- D'Alessandro. Jerry yeah. better than Vladi. The thing was, Jerry, and if you ever read his books or talk to him about some of the trades he had, he had some really good trades out there that just got nixed because of finances. Yeah. There's the you know story. He had a deal with Indiana done, uh, Lionel Simmons for Detlef Schrempf. Well, that would have been a good deal. Yeah, but they couldn't pay Detlef Schrempf, so ownership nixed it. So... Would we say that Petrie, Jerry, and Monty are the top three GMs of all time? Yeah. For the Kings? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Sacramento, yeah. And I would say from a media standpoint. Hell, probably all time. <laughs> uh, at least two of those three weren't particular. You know, listen, Monty's fine with the media, but he ain't Chatty McChatterton. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Monty's yeah, pretty. Monty's guarded as he should be. Yeah, Jer- now, Jeff Jerry was the most guarded. Jeff. You got nothing out of Jeff. Yeah. Jeff was the king of the six-second pregnant pause. Right. And then a big word somewhere in there. You then a big word. Wait, <laughs> right. I'm not sure what that means. Well, you would get done. You, Jeff would come on the, the afternoon show, for example. Yeah. And he would be on for 20 minutes. And when you get done, you're like, I don't know what he said. Like, he said a lot of things, and I understood <laughs> the words, and he put them together. I don't know that he said anything. He And by the way, I will say this, and I love him to death. I do. Monty McNair is very good at that too. Oh, I was just going to say, it's interesting doing this and as this, as a thought exercise guys, you, you, you have said, you've basically said your one, two is Vlade and Monty. I'm not so Vlade, Jeff Jeff Petrie Petrie and and Monty. Monty, Who are the two most guarded with the media? Jeff Petrie (laughs) and and, and Monty. Coincidence. (sighs) And and it's fine. And then, and, and again, also two guys that, that don't, uh, that again can say a lot without saying a lot at all. And I don't know why I really never put this together until now. And this is stupid. I should have known. I don't know why it's not at the top of my head that Jeff Petrie and Monty McNair are both Princeton Tigers. Hmm. Oh, that's true. I, didn't I don't, I've that never put that together. That's weird. Yeah. Monty wasn't an NBA rookie of the year. Uh, yeah. Jeff Petrie wasn't a wide receiver. True. So what's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 